In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the depth mat effect and how that can be used to create fog. So what the depth mat does is it takes your 3D objects and as they go further back in space, you can make them more transparent. And that's how we can get a text emerging through fog effect. So let's check it out. Okay, let's start off by creating a new comp. I'm going with 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. So what I want to do is click on the type tool and start typing. I'm going to type in fog. You type in whatever you like. I'm going to hold the corner and drag while I'm pressing shift. And I'm also going to align this. So I'm going to go to my line horizontally and vertically. Now what I want to do is make this a 3D layer. So this button here, click that on. And we also want to make sure that we've got the Cinema 4D render going. So if you're on Classic 3D, just switch that to Cinema 4D. And once you do that, drop this arrow down, go to Geometry Options, go to Extrusion Depth, and max this out. I think a thousand. Yeah, a thousand is it. So now what I want to do is hold down Option, left click, drag, just so I could see my extrusion something like that option middle click and drag upwards and we could bring this up something like that so one two and three are also the keyboard shortcuts for navigating around in 3d space so what i want to do now i'll collapse this is create a light so right click go to new go to light i'm going to make this a point light and i'm going to make it more intense i'm going to change these settings probably but this is this is what I'm going with for now, if you want to follow along precisely. Yeah, so that looks okay. I'll zoom out a little bit so I can see my light. I'd like to bring this down, maybe center this up a bit here on the text. So it kind of looks like it's getting lit from below a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about making perfect lights. If you watch a video or two before this one that I posted, you'll see all about creating lighting that looks good in After Effects 3D. What I want to do now is create a second light to um, light the shadow areas. Right click on a blank spot, go to new, give it a light. This one will be a ambient light. Maybe I'll bring this intensity down and okay, that's not too bad. Let's double click on it. I'm going to change the color a little bit just for some variety. Let's go maybe a more purplish direction, uh, maybe blue or green. Yeah, I kind of like that green. Let's go with that green fog and a little bit of saturation. Okay, so there's only one setting, well, two settings, color and intensity. So ambient lights are pretty easy to control. So that looks good. I've got my text set up and I'm ready to throw some fog in here. What we need to do now is pre-compose all these. So select all your layers and right click, go to pre-compose and say okay. And we can take this and add an effect. If we go to effect, 3D channels, we go to depth mat. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So it doesn't look like much, but let's hit invert and now it looks like way too much. What I'm gonna do is start to increase this number here. After I get to a pretty high amount, you'll see we start to basically clip the back of the text. Now what we have is that the depth changes the, the amount of clipping and where it happens and the feather will soften this effect out. You just kind of go with one, go with the other and kind of go back and forth until you get the effect that you want. What I want to avoid is having the front face fade out too much. It could be a little bit faded out. I'm okay with that, but I mostly want to see this fade to black. And if we hit this button here, we could see that it actually is fading to transparent. That is what we want. I'm pretty happy with these settings here. Now what I'm gonna do is make a new layer. So I will right click in here, go to new, go to solid. Let's let's use the eyedropper, pick a color that matches kind of, and maybe um, make it lighter. It's not really important. I'm gonna add a ramp to this and, and a bunch of other things. This should be behind so now you can see uh, we got this is this is our fog here. Let's add that ramp now. So if you go to effects and presets, type in ramp and gradient ramp, drop this on here. What I'm going to do is turn this off and use the eyedropper to sample our color. Use the eyedropper again to sample that same color and then I'll turn this back on. Now what I'm going to do is make this one the top one much lighter something like that. All right, so we're we're getting kind of this foggy look. If you're going for simple, you could call it done, but we could take it a step further. We could type in uh, fractal. 
So fractal noise under noise and green here. Take this fractal noise, drop it in. Let's collapse this. We'll take this and set this blending mode to a screen or maybe overlay. Yeah, overlay is pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. Now this is a little bit too detailed. So what I'm gonna do is go to my transform and find my scale, bring this up a bit here. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better, getting a bit blotchy. I might wanna take my complexity, bring that up, maybe and scale it up a little bit more now. So making progress here. Now we could always look at the fractal type. We could try smeary, eh, swirly. Um, you know what, let's stick with basic. I'm gonna take the contrast and get that looking how I want. I don't want too much contrast or we're gonna get that kind of deal going on, which we don't want. Brightness, no surprise what's going on with that one. As you bring the brightness up, maybe you might wanna throw in a little bit more contrast. Let's close this for now. Look at the sub settings here. I wanna take this up here. I don't want it to be too soft, but I don't want too much detail. It's getting pretty good right about here. I'm gonna add some animation. I'm gonna do it on the evolution. So I'm gonna hold on option, click evolution, time, asterisk, 100. That's what we got for our expression. I'll just do a quick play to see if this looks okay. It's really subtle, but for fog, I, I do want it to be pretty subtle. You could change all these settings to be whatever you want. I'm pretty good with that. Let's try and make this look like it's animating through the fog. Let's collapse this stuff up here and I'm going to jump into our pre-comp and what I'm going to do is select the fog layer and I'll start, I don't know, in a little bit. Press P for position, hit the keyframe, I don't know, a few seconds. I'm going to add another keyframe by hitting this diamond here in between those two arrows. Now, what I wanna do is just move it back a little bit on the Z. I think I could hit the Z here. Okay, yeah, so I can move it back. Nothing too crazy. I think that will be good. And I'll grab both of these and press F9 to do it easy, easy. Now, I wanna leave my playhead here and I'm gonna jump back into my comp one because I wanna animate our depth mat also. Hit the stopwatch here for depth. I'm gonna press U so that I could see that keyframe here. I'll also press F9 while here. And I'm just gonna jump back to this pre-comp so I could see these keyframes and I'll hold down shift as I drag over here to snap this keyframe here. And now I know I'm gonna have the same timing and I just need to do that same thing by hitting this little diamond here. And now I've got my keyframe set. So. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna try and make this just to the point where we can't see the text at all or just very subtly. That's about it. I don't wanna go too far past that. And I'm gonna press N. Let's do a quick play. Okay, so a quick and easy way to make your text look like it's floating through fog. For the open of this video, I created a little bit more detailed wispy fog. And in the next video that I post on YouTube, I will show you how to create that fog.